Well, here we go. Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyur to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Okay. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. He said that Rex Lapis died because of a divine trial. <sighs> so that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. True. Could the Chi-Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his Gnosis changed hands? I think you've hit the bullseye this time. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the Rite of Parting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. Everybody must be really, really sad. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Madam Ping. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Uh-oh. Travel. Yes? Yikes! She really is looking our way! Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! Wait, are they spinning it that I'm the one who did that? I killed the, the god in the water? The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Whoa. Um. Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? Hey, she spoke. <laughs> okay. Hey, Zhong Li. Look at this. Everyone in Liyue is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again. And here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? I see. Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal. At the Shinya kiosk. Ha! That sounds like big talk, Zhang Li. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinya kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? 
Right? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. But <laughs> why would Morax lack Mora? <laughs> oh. As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. Makes sense. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Uh-huh. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. Exactly. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's credit. <laughs> Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> no, she, I think she deserves that right. <laughs> In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories and foresight, as well as positions, roles and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhang Li could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. So are you calling yourself, um, a stuck-up? <laughs> I must thank you for that. Mm. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhang Li, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. It was a fine journey. That is true, but there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. Yeah. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Closed? Yes. The nation has been closed by order of its deity. Really? The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right, Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of the Inazuma Bakufu, people call her the Raiden Shogun. The Inazuma Bakufu. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Really? Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Really? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. Is that why everybody looks forward to having a vision? This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevat see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Oh, great. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of a statue of the Thousand-Armed, Hundred-Eyed God. Oh, that sounds really, really bad. They want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? Yeah. 
I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Wow, that's harsh. I agree, Paimon. The Animal Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. Ugh. Then this one's not gonna be fun. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Yeah, should we tell her that you're still alive? Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods, and of these, eternity is nearest unto heaven. Really? All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Uh, there's a lot. So about the trial. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. That said, the reason why the Chi Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as Gifting dreams and visions? Is that what you did to Ningguang? All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? What about Child? Yeah, about that. Before the Chising made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on Child. I don't think he'll ever come back to Liwei. <laughs> These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chi Sing from defeating the ancient god. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. So they might not stay in Liyue for much longer. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. Mm, poor child. <laughs> all right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? As for the Liwe Qixing... The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now... Though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Qi Sing's plan to take governing power over Liu from the hands of the gods and Adepti, could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm... Who? All right, then. You're not... Was there anything else you wish to know? He's not gonna tell me. Now, about Mora. That's right. Zhang Li, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the Mora into that? Since Morax is dead, are they all just gonna disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? Good question, Paimon. The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time, since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. <laughs> this is terrible! We're all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paimon! Yes, this is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, yeah, you didn't think that through, did you? Uh, well, 
I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Leo Achising to debate. Um, in other words, he's just gonna pass it on to them. <laughs> aside for yourself? No, I bet you he did not. Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. He didn't. <laughs> <sighs> it's a shame. Dude. <laughs> What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> this dude. He really doesn't think about money. <laughs> All right, then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Uh, there's nothing else. Well, then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Serendipity? 